Welcome. So what I want to do is show you guys how to graph x equals y plus 4. And when graphing this, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to graph this by what we call y equals mx plus b form, which we call our slope-intercept form. And this is very called slope-intercept form because our m represents our slope and our b represents our y-intercept. And the y-intercept, again, remember, is going to be where the graph crosses your y-axis, where the slope is going to be kind of the steepness of our graph. What, it, what we like to sometimes call it is the rise over 1, or really the change in our y-coordinates over the change in our x-coordinates. So I'll write that in a couple different ways. And what you just want to notice is when I say rise over run, or the change in y over the change in x, you notice I'm rewriting that as a fraction. So we're going to want to use our slope as written as a fraction. But first, let's take this and rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I need to isolate my y variable. So I'll subtract 4 over here. So I have x minus 4 equals y. Now I'm just going to flip this over so my y is to the left. So y equals x minus 4. All right, so now let's go and label what we have. Well, we have negative 4. That's going to be our y-intercept. That means the graph from my origin is going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4. And I can go and finish up the rest of this. But you can see that the graph is going to have a y-intercept at negative 4. All right, so now we need to determine the slope. Well, the slope, remember, we talked about is written as a fraction. But right now, you can see I'm not seeing a number that's actually written in front of there. Well, we know that when we don't have a number that's specifically written in there, we know we can always have a 1 in front. But then it's still not written as a fraction, so let's write as y equals 1 over 1x minus 4. Because 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1 times x is still x, so we're still good. So what the slope tells us is it's going to be the change in the y values over the change in the x. So if my change in y values is positive 1, that means from my y-intercept, I'm going to go up 1. The change in the x values is positive 1. I'm going to go to the right one. And I'm just going to continue this pattern. And I can continue this for all my points. I could also make sure, just notice that 1 over 1 is equal to negative 1 over negative 1. So I could also go in the negative direction if I wanted to. But then I can connect my points. And now I create a line. And remember, this pattern is going to continue infinitely in the positive and negative direction. And we're going to connect all of them to, re to write our linear equation. Remember, this is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph in slope-intercept form. Thanks.